All right, this is uh, Will Martin, and I just wanted to show what I've been working on with the car. Um, I've put in a chassis. Um, essentially, I'm doing a uh, like a backbone spine for the car, uh, similar to the way Colin Chapman designed the Lotus Elan back in the 60s. Um, so the chassis here, it's uh, let me isolate the front of the car, is this piece of aluminum here, this... Uh, this blue piece, uh, let me click on the chassis so you can see it. Um, all right, this one. So that's this blue piece here. As you can see, it started out as one giant piece of aluminum. This is basically the biggest block, solid block of aluminum I, I could find uh, that's readily available. Um, it costs about $1,200 or so. Uh, and then the idea would be to machine out of it uh, the pickup points for the lower A-arm, uh, and then also the mounting holes for the bearings for the tilt frame, and then machining out of it uh, this part in the middle, this channel that will hold uh, the main battery pack, and then these two channels on the side uh, that would hold the side battery pack. So all in it would be, I think, 26 or 27 batteries, which uh, should give the car between 150 and 200 miles of range. Um, it should also be plenty of power uh, to get the car going very fast and accelerate very fast. Um, the, so the backbone spine, as you can see, doesn't go the entire length of the car. Um, I couldn't find any blocks of aluminum that are you know, not custom order from an aluminum smelter that, that would be the full length of the car. So the idea is that uh, I'm leaving this area in the back of the chassis free so that I can design another chassis frame that would bolt into this one that would have the seat for the driver um, as well as it would have uh, room in the back to hold the the motor uh, that would be connected to the rear wheels via a chain. And then the other idea is I left this room here at the front in the chassis so that I could uh, bolt up a lightweight frame that would go up and over the tilting uh, assembly in the front and then would give you uh, your dashboard, your steering wheel mount here. Um, it would also allow you to mount your rack and pinion uh, right here behind the tilting frame. Uh, it would give you room to mount the motor controller, the uh, battery charger, and the battery pack uh, controller. So um, that's the general idea right now. So uh, going to keep moving forward with uh, next steps are, are building the uh, seat and the rear frame and then uh, building the uh, top frame and then after that I can put a body around the whole thing. So that's where I am right now.